I'm pretty much just. Hi guys, um, welcome to a day or maybe a few days in my life. I haven't really picked up the camera since I was in Florida last with my team and I was watching some of my old TikToks, some from my birthday, from the fall, just within the last couple months and it was making me really like sentimental almost because they were so cute and I love those times in my life and I just wish that I had this camera so much sooner that I could have gotten like so many more videos and documented so many more memories with like the people around me. So in feeling sentimental, I figured I'd have to pick up the camera and really get this vlog situation rolling. So that's about it. Today I don't have too much going on during the daytime. I'm gonna go to a little coffee shop that I've never tried before and get some homework done and stuff like that. Tidy up around the apartment and then later I'm going out to dinner with all my friends, but I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. Also, since I'm gonna be doing like a lot of computer work and homework, let me know how you guys feel about these blue light glasses. I think they're insane, obnoxious, crazy, and that's why I love them. Um, they're way too big for my face. They have an insane, like you can see the glare on them because they're not prescription, they're not anything, they're not reading glasses, they're literally just blue light glasses because I'm on my phone and my computer and my iPad way too much, but I'm looking studious, am I not? Yeah, okay, let's go, for real. I'm pretty much dressed for what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm not gonna wear these little slippers out of the house because these pants are like too short to wear with short shoes. But I just have a skims top on, I'm wearing a skims around underneath, and then these pants are from Aritzia. And I'm probably just gonna put Uggs on or something like that, and then pack my bag, and we'll be ready to go. I've kinda got everything I need set out on the counter already. I've been charging my computer, I have my iPad in case I need that. Um, I'm gonna bring my Beats, especially because they're noise canceling, like if I'm gonna be doing work or something like that, not only do I not want to listen to other people, but I don't want to like think about anything. So I literally put on, this is like my life hack. I'm not even kidding. Hang on. Oh, there's my flow app. I'll just like give you guys a little secret into my life. This is an insane group of music that I've got going on in here, but I'm trying to find the specific. Yes. When I literally go to do homework and I have my noise canceling headphones on, I can't listen to music or I'm going to get so distracted. It's just the ADHD in me. I literally listen to this thing called brown noise. It's not as like loud and oceany as white noise. It's just like perfect background sound where I don't need to actually think, but I'm saying focus. I'm gonna use this free people bag. I like to use like kind of a medium sized tote bag when I'm going to little, I don't know. I don't even know what you'd call it. Like when I'm going on little outings like this, I don't wanna bring my full on Syracuse backpack because that's just so beyond obnoxious. And this bag is like a lot bigger than you'd think and it fits a lot, so. It should work fine. I'm definitely gonna pack a phone charger, um, my water bottle, the whole nine yards pretty much. I'm actually gonna throw my belt bag into this bag too because in case I end up going anywhere that's not just the coffee shop, I wanna have everything with me. Oh, also, I'm experiencing a raging UTI right now, so I'll be bringing my trusty UTI medication with me for when, whoa, when I'm done eating. I can take it. Basically ready to go, but I'm also not gonna pretend like it isn't literally freezing cold here, so I'm gonna get a gigantic jacket. One second. Got my phone, wallet, keys, and we're off. Okay, it's extremely sunny actually. This jacket was the wrong move because now I'm getting suffocated in the car. It's a little too big. Um, but yeah, we're about to head out. Um. If you didn't know, I go to school in Syracuse. If you saw my last vlog, like obviously you'd be able to tell because I'm on the Syracuse cheerleading team and we just went to nationals. But Syracuse University is basically like at the bottom of the city of Syracuse. And so I'm gonna go to a coffee shop that's like kind of in one of the towns. It's I think I'm going to Camillus today or Malinus. I don't really know specifically. I've never been there before, but I'm gonna put it in the GPS. I think it's like 20 minutes away and we'll see what it's all about. I'll let you know when I get there. Bye. Okay, so I made it here. Wow, I look so different on this camera than I look on my phone. I look a lot better on my phone, but it's okay, guys. Um, it was only like 15 minutes away. It's in like a Topps parking plaza right now. I don't even know if you can see it. If I have my camera here and you can zoom. But yeah, that's what the little place looks like. So we'll see what it looks like inside. I'm definitely still gonna get coffee and food even if I can't sit down in there, but ideally I'd like to sit there and do work. If not, I might take myself to the library at school 
and I'll bring you along with me then too. coffee shops that I've been to in Syracuse or on Syracuse because I'm always on the campus usually or I don't stray. Whoa! My hair tie came out. Whatever. I don't stray very far from the campus. The scene in this coffee shop, like the crowd in there, was a lot older than I'm used to. Not that I care because I wasn't really interacting with anybody but myself and the employees. But yeah, it's just like a lot of parents and like moms having coffee together or old people having coffee together. It was cute, whatever. My coffee was delicious. I had an iced latte with whole milk. I've been getting regular milk lately. Um, with whole milk and they had a salted caramel toffee syrup. It was amazing, I needed to try it. It's still, woo! I just lost Ryan's picture. Hi baby Rye. Gotta keep that up there. But um, yeah, it was so delicious and then I also got Gravlax, it was literally like these two pieces of toast from a restaurant that I'm literally gonna go out to dinner do tonight from Possibilities, which is so weird. Um, lemon, mascarpone, cream cheese, salmon, pickled red onion, and caviar. I also been talking about trying caviar. So weird that I had this at this little coffee shop, but I tried it, it was delicious. It's probably all in my teeth, so I might have to cut these clips. Maybe not, who knows. Um, I'm gonna drive back home. Um, hang out for a little bit, probably get in my bed and do some more work. I did all like my typing writing work, but I have some like computer, I don't know how to explain it, like program assignments, like I've got homework to do in a program from my psychology class that I'll probably do from bed. But yeah, see you when I get back home. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving this. So even though I made my bed really lovely and amazing this morning, this time is called rot in your bedtime and I'm gonna snuggle here for probably two hours and do what I don't really know maybe watch some YouTube maybe download the videos from my camera and edit them maybe nap who knows maybe do homework I will get back to you guys with what starts to happen okay you guys may be wondering why is this bitch back in her pajamas well there was a very significant stretch of time between the last time I filmed and now um, I went to open this window a little just to crack it because it was getting really toasty in this room and my air didn't kick on fast enough yet. And as I'm like pulling up the blinds to lift the window up, they literally get stuck at the tip top. Mind you, I was in my bra and underwear. And I live alone. So, that was called a panic moment. I'm not going to sit here with my entire window open. I'm not dressed and I'm by myself. Any man could see me. I'm scared. So it was a really, really big ordeal trying to get the blinds back down because they were literally stuck at the top. But we're back. Um, I feel like I have to start from square one with this outfit. I have literally no idea to wear, so I'm just going to start pulling shit out of the closet and see what works. Also, just got word that my friends are coming here to pregame and the status of my room is not good. The rest of my apartment is decently clean, but... I should not have taken a nap. So now I gotta go double time and clean and pick my clothes out and do my makeup panic mode. Everybody's plans are coming together a little too quickly for me. I was not ready for all this. So I think I'm going to clean first. Alexa, play Get Gone. Get Gone, featuring Saintly Silas by Axad from Apple Music. You don't like me, baby. Let's talk about it. We can go in a room. Let's clean, baby. Okay, thank God I speed cleaned everything. Living room is looking good. Like, actually just ignore half the Christmas decorations that are still up. But kitchen's clean, dishes are done. My room is still a mess, but that's because I have clothes that I'm picking out. I can live with that because I'm actually gonna move on and do my makeup first and then go to the clothes because I not only am hosting the pregame, but I'm picking my friends up, bringing them to the pregame, and then we're gonna hang out here. So I actually need to be ready ASAP. 
I'm gonna start with the primer. I don't usually start with the primer, but I have some that I got in like a gift set. Oh good, there's dust all on my face and hair from when I was messing with my blinds. But I got some primer in a little gift set. I'm just gonna use it. I haven't put moisturizer on since this morning, so this is what it's gonna be for me. I'm definitely gonna look super crazy in this lighting, but it is what it is. Starting with my two holy grails, the Urban Decay Hydromaniac and L'Oreal Lumi Lotion. I think the combo of both of these on my skin really works nicely because I'm gonna be putting powder over some of my skin. I want my base to be really dewy and hydrated. I don't ever think, whoa, that went literally in my nose. That was crazy. Spraying my brush with some setting spray and blending this with a brush. Not my beauty blender yet. Once that's blended out with the brush, I'm just patting it into my skin so it melts in with my beauty blender. There's nothing on the end of this. It's just to buff out the product. Then I go with the contour before I go with the um, concealer. I always wanna make sure I'm darkening the parts of my face and creating shadows where I want shadows before I highlight because I don't wanna look muddy. This is e.l.f. Halo Liquid Glow Filter. I want a fluffy soft brush for this because this product is definitely pigmented and I want to buff it out as much as I can. And see I'm going right along my natural cheekbone. I don't want to like create a separate shadow on my face when there isn't one because it could just make my face end up looking bigger or wider. I'm just not normal. But I'm going to keep blending and blending and then I'll get back to you. I'm going a little heavier on the forehead than I normally would. I do this anytime I wear my hair up because I just don't want my forehead to look gigantic when it's pulled back or my hair is pulled back from my face. But it's really not the end of the world. So again, buffing things out with my beauty blender. I use the back side of this because I never put any product on this or use this for like an actual step aside from a buffing. We're gonna conceal. Tarte Shape Tape, this is a mini size because I was trying out a new color. The new color ended up working beautifully. Heavy dot in the middle, light dot on the outside. Two dots on the outside of the nose. You always have to make a weird face when you're doing concealer. That's like my go-to. Eyeliner, mascara, I'm always like this. It's just part of the process. Okay, it's 6.15, I'm picking the girls up at seven to come here. That means it's seriously crunch time. Thank God my house is cleaned up, thank God the makeup got done, but we have got to get to work. Also, my hair is literally greasy on top and basically straight crimped on the bottom. Don't mind, again, she's getting slicked up. Whatever. I still am drawing a true blank on what the F I'm going to be wearing tonight. So I might just pick it out off camera and then show you because this is going to stress me out trying to film and pick the outfit out at the same time. I'll come back to you. I'll at least bring you along with me while I do my slick back pony moment and the horrible lighting that is my bathroom. All the things that you need. Hard brush, eco gel, water. I'm just gonna, my hair is already... Greasy and dirty because I have the Miel hair oil in it and it's getting washed literally tomorrow for our game. So you have to wet it. I feel like that's what activates the eco gel. I feel like I never get a good slick back if my hair is dry with just gel in it. It just doesn't work like that for me. So I'm running it through my edges, the underneath of my hair, the top of my hair. As you can tell, my hair's already straight, so this is easy to brush out. That literally took four seconds. Mind you, I brushed this out with a bristle brush first, and then the slicking happens with the hard brush. I just give it like one swipe on the under underneath. I don't really care that much about my baby hairs that stick out on the bottom. It's not the end of my life. She's pretty slick to me, if I do say so myself. And if it's not like perfectly 100% flat when you put it up, you can still brush it once it's already in the pony. That is so crazy. Oh my god, don't look at my armpits too. Guys, I was not planning on wearing a tank top. Do I do, I do like an emergency shave? I don't know. Okay, I slayed that. I'm thinking, I don't know, should I keep it in a ponytail? No, probably not. I think I'm gonna braid it. Oh my god, surprise guys! I panicked and changed my shirt because all my friends had long sleeve shirts on. So now I'm wearing this except for the fact that I'm pantsless. So this top is a sleigh. I have a blue bra underneath. That's what I'm gonna keep on. I don't really care. There's blue on the top so it matches. Now I have to see what pants I'm gonna wear because 
I love the length of this shirt and I don't want to wear high rise pants with it. So I'm thinking about these Zara jeans that I tried on the very first time because they're low rise. Hang on. But I would definitely have to do a belt with them. I'm going to try these and I'm going to try one more pair on of lighter low rise jeans and see if I can do like blue sneakers with it. Or if not, I'll definitely just keep my docks on. But I love this top. I forgot I even owned it. So, yep. Sorry. Okay. I don't know why I was trying to slay so hard and give like a sexy night look tonight when I'm actually like three million times more comfortable in this like streetwear type of outfit. Mesh shirt, low rise baggy jeans, my black. I think these are Jordans that Ryan got me. They're not dogs. So, I'm slaying. I'm feeling very comfortable in this outfit. I don't know if these are the right jeans. I might try those darker jeans on again, but this is giving very Maggie McDonald. Like I can picture a literal outfit that she's worn just like this in my head. If I can find it, I'm gonna pull it up and insert the pic because she's my inspo tonight, I guess. Okay, finally I'm calm, cool, and collected, and I'm gonna get started on the lip look because if you thought I was going out of the house like this, you're actually out of your mind. I would never do that. Apparently, I don't know where any of my products are right now. I have my new gloss, which I'm 100% wearing, but I need to acquire my lip liners, and I have a really sneaky, sneaky feeling that one of them is in the car in my cheer bag. It's looking to be that way. So I guess I'm going to be busting open one of my new lip liners that I've been holding hostage to all this time. I have this exact lip liner already open, but I'm not going to the car right now, so... That's that. This is my tried and true. This is my favorite lip liner that matches my face the best. It's the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. This is for sure brown. Like, it's not a pink one. I would like to layer this with... Whoa, let's focus this baby here. Hang on. I'd like to layer this with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So it's really better worn when you have a little bit of lip product on already because this is the matte NYX liner, not the regular one. Like, can you see the dead skin on my lip? It's gonna dry that right up, but whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. My lip situation is definitely not ideal. But I guess it's out of my control now. Do you think this is gross? Literally click off, I don't know what to tell you. This is called having dry skin and having dry lips. Um, I don't know why every lip product I own is literally MIA. I'm gonna go searching around to see if I can find it with my liner on. So it turns out literally everything I own is outside in my cheer bag in the car. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Laneige, barely any on my hand, and I'm just buffing out this lip liner. Going with my Dior Lip Enhancer or Maximizer, whatever it's called, in mauve. This stuff is literally beautiful. I hope my lip liner isn't ruining the effect. What else am I supposed to do? Lips done. Not to be real going off while I'm filming. I'll get you guys in it. This is gonna be like a hard launch to be real that I'm vlogging. I love being annoying. I think my last step to this whole look, which is not really a step because I'm basically ready, is to put on perfume. My date, oh, I have to fix my braid too, but whatever. My daily go-to is always this Versace Bright Crystal. It smells amazing balls. It is everything you need and more. This is a gigantic, obnoxious size of it, but it's the perfect size for me. But when I go out at night and I have like a nighttime look, I love to get a little like sexier, sweeter with my YSL Black Opium. I don't even know how to describe the notes in this because I'm not a perfume crazy girl, but it literally just smells like sexy vanilla. I don't know. And I want it all over me. Okay. I've got basically all my jewelry on. I might do a couple rings. There you go. Gorge. And here's this hand. Gorge. Now, focus on me. Give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. Okay. Now I'm going to go pick my friends up. And they're going to come over here. And we're going to have troll fucking crumb night. And then we're going to get pasta and espresso martinis. Thanks for the get ready with me. I'll try to keep vlogging later. But we'll see. Love you. Made it to dinner. Ooh. 
Because some people didn't didn't get approved to drink at the bar today. <laughs> but didn't make the cut. <laughs> we, are, we, we should not be here this it's drunk. Okay, though. I'm gonna get one for her later, and it's gonna be really delicious. <laughs> Wait, fingers. my my friend wanted a review. Let's. See. I would say we have like ten ish, fifteen. I'm closing my ears and eyes a lot of ways. We're playing it. We're playing it. I know. Why are we stunning? Do you guys think we did it again? I was going to say. We got it. 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 We I'm eating caramel. <laughs> Regina got denied. <laughs> okay. I had to close my tab. Gotta go. Gotta go. I had Gina. my last day of brush today. Oh, she was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. I was like, Dad, you need to do this. So Honestly, fucking good in this really restaurant. really blown my mind. Mm. Recently though, recently. Like, oh, he's he's not, he's yeah, fuck, I, I gotta go. Definitely getting one of these babies. Yum. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Ruh row. This is not going, oh. Chrissy's here, I'm gonna go here. Holy shit. That looks scrumptious. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they're so, woo, they're so good. I'm burned. It's GTG. No, 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 it's like kind of exciting. That was good though. Okay, what the actual fuck? <laughs> so yummy. Come on, crazy girl. Are you guys over here? No, we're looking yum. Yeah, we're good. Enjoy. Thank you.